Hey guys, uh, we are back again with another Clash of Titans video and for today's video we are going to play Pain Wait, 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 it's not Clash of Titans, it's Arena of Valor, sorry for that So, this is my first match, I mean, first video of Pain So, first of all, let me explain his abilities So, his passive will enhance your auto attack when you are using your uh, abilities so if you use your S1 uh, then your auto attack will be enhanced if you use your S2 then also your auto attack will be enhanced so it will last long for 5 seconds and it will uh, also increase your attack speed by 30% so basically you can stack up to 3 times because you have 3 abilities right so if you use all of the, all of the 3 abilities then you will be getting uh, like 90 percentage of attack speed which is so insane and these attack speed will be, will be really helpful for jungle clears and all so always try to use one ability plus those auto attacks and then the other ability plus those auto attacks okay. so that's it for this passive and let's talk about uh, this s1 uh, whenever you use your S1, uh, Pain uh, left his body, I mean leave his body uh, in the place where you use your S1 and the soul will move towards your cursor or you can uh, direct your soul with your cursor like this, okay? and at this time your body will take only 60 percentage of damage so you will be get uh, i mean the you will be immune to 40 percentage of the damage which you are taking while you are uh, in in your s1 state okay so now let's talk about the s2 uh, if you use your s2 it will simply create a circle and it will silence uh, the enemy those who are all standing inside that circle and uh, if you stay inside that circle for two seconds you will be regaining your uh, mana or you can say your energy by 50 and the most important thing uh, of your s2 is if you are taking any damage inside that circle the 30 percentage of that damage will be converted into your hp so it's basically uh, a hp restore i guess so if you if you take any damage in while you are in your s2 farm that damage the 30 percentage of that damage will be converted into your hp so it's really cool right and his ultimate is a very very long dash in this game and he will also deal damage in the path while moving and also he will get some uh, super armor also so yeah that's all about pain so now let's talk about the combo so basically what i will do is uh, i will just use my s1 and then auto attack then yes to auto attack and then uh, i will use my ultimate to retreat so you can use the same this is this is the one combo which i highly recommend so you can also use uh, your ultimate to jump in and then use your s2 auto attack and then you can come back with your uh, s1 but most of the time you will die in that uh, area because you will be jumping on like uh, 3 to 4 people right so I would say it is really bad uh, engaging with your ultimate so you will you will not be having any of the abilities to uh, retreat from the fight that is why I am saying so always take your S2 first once you landed uh, uh, in this game and uh, try to uh, upgrade your S1 
in this match i am using upgrading my s2 i don't know why but always try to upgrade your s1 and try to farm a lot because you are a jungler right so you need to carry a lot compared to other heroes see how much damage i dealt to macro bro see once you uh, have a lot of farm you can just one shot with your s1 and s2 it's really easy i don't know why i ah my artigog i don't know why i use i didn't use my artigog there so yeah and always try to invade with the opponent jungle this will uh, counter a little wait so maintain the good behavior so okay alice is afk gg guys so it's gonna be 4v5 right so let's see what's going to happen since i have a lot of gold i would be it would be easy to carry for me i'm just waiting for the perfect time to go in Okay, we got Talanas, we got uh, Aya, Nagroth is roaming here and there. Yeah, I think uh, he has some kind of map pack, I guess, but I'm not sure. I just have a sus, so let it be. Anyway, we are going to win this match, right? So yeah, once you have a good start in the early game, you can just easily snowball. See? This is what I said guys, S1 auto attack, S2 auto attack and then jump on with your ultimate, uh, jump out with your ultimate. Uh, usually people will uh, die because your ultimate has a really long range, I mean it will deal a lot of damage, AOE damage. So if uh, Laurel didn't use his dash, I mean her dash. She would have died there itself, but since uh, she used to his dash now, that is why she managed to survive. Okay, let's just kill everyone. Yeah, we got a kill on Talanas. See, Arthur couldn't be able to do anything at all. I thought of going in, but uh, I don't wanna risk my life because I already died and it's 4v5. So if I die there, they will get the slayer and then they will give come back and all. So I don't want that happen. What? Seriously? How well game? Managed to kill L'Oreal in a 1v1. See? I don't know where from where he got any vision of mine. Okay, anyway, let's just take the Slayer and we'll... Um, these guys will fight and die, I guess. Let's, let me also join the fight. Come on, come near my ult, guys. Nakroth got one tab, Aya got one tab. Ah. Wow, that was a nice dash, Lariel. Quad, quad. Okay, okay, Mega, Mega. Okay, Telanus is coming, Telanus is coming. Wait, don't end, don't end, don't end, guys. Let's end up. Alright, alright. So. This is what the problem guys in a solo queue. So that's it gonna be the today's video guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.